Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering the um, notification section of our forum here, CodeHub. And what that means is when a user does, or let's say they create a post, we want to give them some feedback, so, something like your post was created successfully and so on. So to do that, what we will be doing is using this neat plugin called Sweet Alert, and it's, uh, it's a JavaScript plugin here. We also need to install the uh, Laravel equivalent. But what it does is this is a typical message, but what we're going to be using by using this suite alert, we can give something nicer that looks like this to the user. All right. So I will um, paste the link or basically include the link of this into the description. If you guys, uh, so you can reference that. And let's say we want to download this. What we want to do is scroll down here and find the download so click on download files once you download all the files go ahead and open that zip and inside here you will see a distribution or a dist folder in there you will see sweet alert and sweet alert uh, min.js so what you need to do is you go and you go and you're gonna need to go and go ahead and extract those and where you need to place them is inside our project here under exam HD docs and uh, our code hub um, folder in going to the public folder and put the sweet alert.css within the public folder CSS and the JS under the JS folder within public folder and that will be sweet alert that mean the JS alright so when you do that next thing you need to do is you need to we need to install the uh, Laravel equivalent of this so we need to go into our composer.json I will do it this way you can run this command directly through, um, through the command line if you want but I'm just gonna paste it here and then write uh, or I'm gonna write I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it here and then run composer update to, to do that so we just need to include code course this and then notify so the, the plugin is called uh, notify and is by this group called code course and what we need to do is here version 1.1 and save this and I'm gonna go ahead and just run a composer update so while this is running I'm gonna go ahead and close this and minimize these things here so I'm gonna go into our config since we're installing a new service provider we need to mention that in our service providers here within our config app that config file so in, inside our providers array here we need to add this new provider and that's code course that's the name of the developers code course or the group code course notify and notify service provider notify service provider so once we do this we have included the class save that and we have installed the PHP here the Laravel plugin all right and we have it here so what is the next thing we need to do is we need to go and open our resources and our main layout so go into views and then layouts and then masters and then the main layout and we need to include that JS and CSS files in here so that is simple I'm just gonna simply just copy one of these here it and make sure you include this instead of style I believe that the sweet alert that CSS save that same thing we need to do with the JS here so we're gonna be passing messages from our backend our PHP to uh, front end the JavaScript here and JavaScript will be displaying those messages so instead here change that to sweet alert and then save that but to do that here we need to write some logic in order to handle that so what I need to do here is I'm gonna create another script tag and inside of here we need to make reference to this plugin that we just installed so to do that what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do if let me indent this so it's part of so if and then it's called notify ready that means if we do have a message being passed back to us I'm gonna 
put an end if here so I don't forget what do we want to do here is we want to make a call to the suite alert so that's called swal or S W A L and in here we're gonna pass the options so what, I, what, what you can pass is a title and inside the title here what I will do is uh, I'm gonna be displaying whatever is passed in by the backend right that's what we want to do so we're gonna call notify and we're gonna use this to get the message so whatever message we get back we want to display that as, as the title once we have the title next thing we need is the type and the type means if, either if it's a success message you know uh, error message or an info message anything like that since you can do this many types of message in here same thing I'm gonna do notify and we want to display the type this time so I'm gonna do notify type and let's go for another option here but inside here I'm gonna put another if statement and the reason is I will explain in a minute so sweet alert uh, allows you to either put a confirmation button in there or not so sometimes we want to show it sometimes we don't and to do that I'm gonna put an if statement here and check if we do have that so I'm gonna say notify option and we're gonna and we're gonna check for this option called timer so what we want to do is if, 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 if we do see this um, input being passed in then maybe then we don't want to show the uh, we, we don't want to show the confirmation button instead what we want to do we want to close the um, pop-up message or pop-up box automatically so users don't have to keep clicking confirm but sometimes we do need to confirm you know just in case if you display a long message and you want the user to to confirm that he did read that we want to do that okay so inside of here we want to do a timer and pass whatever is being passed from the backend and that is just calling notify option timer okay so once we get the timer and make sure here I put to call and make sure it's only one and we want to pass this option which is a show, com show confirm button and we want to make this false because in this case what we are telling here is we're saying that okay if this is checking so this is saying okay so if we do have a, a you know a, this timer input then uh, I want to disable this and I want to set the timer and I want to set um, whatever time or let's say three the, the user specified three seconds so what I want to do is I want to close this uh, pop-up window after uh, three seconds and then to, and then I don't want to show the confirmation button because if it's going to close automatically it wouldn't mean it wouldn't make much sense to uh, you know to have that confirmation box and then outside of that if I'm gonna put an HTML true and what this means that we do want to that we are able to pass HTML back if we want to and then let's save that so now that we have passed all this and we have this set up and we have included our JS and CSS files here we have installed everything so then the only next thing is we need to be passing the message back from our uh, let's say from our here from our uh, from our controller so I'm gonna do it so let's say we post a question right and then we do a save here so that means we store the question in the database the next thing we want to do here is let's say after we stored it we want to display the user the me so we want to return this message to our JS so we can display it and what I want to do since we allowed HTML I'm gonna put a header tag here and I'm gonna do a h3 and you can display your message here you, you guys can type anything you want but what I will do in this case is I will just dis display a message such as uh, let's say um, post saved successfully and this this lets the user know that okay uh, I did save something and everything is fine although he's able to see the post this kind of confirms it and the second input parameter is the type so I will do success here and save that and we will talk about the third parameter soon but let's go ahead and give this a try and make sure that this works so I'm gonna go ahead here and log in very fast and I'm gonna create a post 
once I log in and I'm going to here to post a question I'm just gonna say test alert test alert so once we hit submit here what we do is we save it but in addition now we actually will we will be passing this message back to our JS and that should be displaying it uh, with the confirm button so I'm gonna hit save and as you can see here we get this confirmation saying your post was saved successfully but let's say now this looks much nicer now the user knows that his, his post was posted successfully and he's able to see it here as well but let's say we don't we don't want the user to keep clicking OK every time and let's say um, we display a post successfully and then uh, two seconds later we just want to close this and we don't want the user to you know to keep saying OK OK so that's very simple and here we pass a third and it's an array so we pass an array of parameters and I'm going to specify a timer and this is in milliseconds so I'm going to say 2000 milliseconds which is equivalent to two seconds so let's give this a try I'm going to delete this post very fast and let's say here I'm going to post another question and then say same thing I'm going to say test alert test alert now we should see the same thing but however we're not going to see the confirmation uh, button which says OK and the, the pop-up should close by itself so that way the user doesn't have to do that every time and as we see we get that and it closes by itself all right so now that we have an alerting uh, the alert set up we can go ahead and add this into many things so in here was we had it for the let's say for the uh, saving the post in here I want to do for the reply I want to do the same thing if you guys want to do this and you can display any message you want if you don't want to show an alert you don't have to and again if you want to show the confirmation box all you do is just remove this third parameter here and that alert box goes away and if you want to see it uh, there's a many more options that you can pass you can even change the way it looks and so on but to do that just go to the sweet alert uh, website which I will um, be uh, which I will include in the description and in there you can see what other parameters you can pass so in this case I'm gonna say uh, reply saved successfully and let's do the same thing here for the post deleted after here I'm gonna go ahead and paste that message here so I'm gonna say delete it or no reply I say uh, post removed successfully okay so now that we are what I'm gonna go ahead and is I'm gonna try to remove this so I should see this message and then disappear in two seconds so I do see it post remove successfully and let me just do a reply test here so I'm gonna leave a reply very fast test sweet alert and to say replied saved successfully okay guys so I hope you like this tutorial and again if you go to this side here you can see many options and many other things that you can do here so go ahead and check that out and you know play around with it and see how that works out so thank you for watching this tutorial and there will be another one coming up soon